Life with Tabby is really emotionally hard. The hardest thing is because she doesn't have a diagnosis um, and she's classed as life limiting in the sense that because there's no answer, maybe she could start regressing tomorrow. It's, it's always in the back of my mind that one day we could lose her. Lucas has had diagnoses in the past that have turned out to be wrong. So, you know, I join somewhere and think, yeah, we, we suddenly fit, we've got a diagnosis. And then it turns out that the diagnosis was wrong and we suddenly think, gosh, my child's really different. My name's Pam Bevelovitz. Before we found Swan UK, we had no idea that there were so many other children out there with undiagnosed conditions. We didn't really know where to turn for information or how to help our son. Living every day not knowing exactly how your child is going to grow, is going to develop, is going to be as a person, if they'll even grow up at all. If you have a diagnosis, you have a much better idea of how their future will be. And for a parent not knowing that's about your child, it's heartbreaking. I don't think there's enough awareness about um, children with undiagnosed genetic conditions. People have asked me, you know, what's wrong with my daughter, and I've had to say, you know, she has a rare undiagnosed genetic brain disorder. People just don't get it, they don't understand, they just assume that because we don't have an answer, she should be in a specialist children's hospital. There's not enough understanding and as always educating is the key. I think people are incredibly unaware that children be undiagnosed. I think in this day and age we just expect that the medical community is able to diagnose every single genetic disability out there. The genetics is so big you may never get an answer. Support for families is really important. Um, without each other there's so much that we wouldn't know about what help is available or how to get through difficult times like statement and process. Being able to talk to each other is just invaluable. Since I joined Swan UK, uh, one of the most wonderful days I've had in recent times was meeting other families with undiagnosed children. And we went to a fun day um, at the Thames Valley Adventure Park and all families got together and had a lovely time in the sunshine. Just not worrying about you know, being out and about with our children and some of their slightly unpredictable behaviour or, you know, some of the families who have children who are fed by tube, you know, it was all perfectly normal because we were all together and we were all experiencing it like one big family. We've been involved with Swan UK for about 18 months and it's had a huge impact on our lives and our children all have very different symptoms and syndromes but in some ways they're really similar and a lot of the challenges we face as families are the same like how to get the right support for our children and how to deal with some of the health issues how to support siblings and just how to cope being a carer and a parent and the frustrations that we all feel with the system with ourselves is all there to be shared and that's made such a difference it's, it's been amazing really we've just just to meet so many people. It's so lovely having Swan UK as somewhere where everybody fits. I think one of the big things for us as an online community, if you like, is that we have found that we can talk to each other in a way that we cannot talk to our friends or sometimes even our family because understandably they don't get it. It's very hard to get it unless you're there. But so there are all these people that we can talk to that understand what we're saying and they don't judge. And you know, there's strength in numbers. So we support each other. And now I feel very positive about the future. What can you say? Cuddle. Yeah. Cuddle. <laughs> Cuddle. 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 I think it's um, been said that about 50% of children with a genetic disability will never get a diagnosis, which is staggeringly high. And so every single one of those parents uh, should understand that although they are undiagnosed, their children are not invisible. And through Swan UK, I think more and more of us have felt that way about our children. It's liberating.